Hey guys, it's JT, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We're doing some more time stone shenanigans. What in here? Are we, uh... Is this where I, where I need to go? Most likely. Okay. How do I... I don't know how to swap between the past and the present. Thank you, robot. You've made my map useless. Let's bomb a bird. Because that's always a cool, good thing to do. Screw you. Die. <laughs> okay. What was on top of here? A dig spot. Okay. Yeah, we can only get access to it from behind. Master Rumbus, I have information to report. I'm standing in quicksand, Fee. I'm just slowly sinking as you are giving me a report. You could have done this while I'm standing on solid ground, but no. I can confirm that you will not be consumed by the sink sand in its current position. I suggest verifying the location on the map. Oh! That is genius. Readings indicate that there is a submerged path beneath the sink sand. It is possible to walk a longer route above this path without submerging completely into the sink sand. Wow. Simulations suggest that placing beacons to mark a safe route along these paths before proceeding would significantly reduce risk. I recommend placing multiple beacons. I only have one. Oh, you gave me five. Thank you. Okay, so... Do that. Crossroad. Uh, oh yeah, that's really all I need to do. Because it's right here. Wow. That is smart. I will say that's some sm that's some smart game design. I went over to this one for no reason. So let's get rid of this one. Hey. I can just run straight towards it. Yay. Hacha. And it is right here. However, we'll either need a key or a time stone or a bow. Oh boy. I'm gonna say. Cause this is gonna get dangerous. We're gonna be riding through the danger zone. I've never seen that movie. Alright, can I. Can I get up here? In the chest? No. Okay. I'm going to... Um, we're gonna... Get rid of this. 
this. I'm also gonna go over here. I'm gonna restock all my bombs. going to roll them at a safe distance because bombs blow up the goblins. Hiya! Hello, Robo, dude. You are not in my memory banks. Uh, this is the power generator for the mechanism that opens the entrance to the Lenero mining facility. <laughs> but it won't budge until you activate the remote power nodes and set those three dials to access them correctly. So more work. So I can't just walk up and go in? Okay. Readings indicate that the materials used to construct the generator are also present in this area. You can now use your dusting ability to locate them. Oh. Alright. Is it that? Pointing at that thing. There's the generator, yeah. There's that. There's that. Okay. Oh. Aha. Through here. Kablooey. Let's go. Wait, wrong game. Oh, I immediately don't like this. Because you don't see me. can't attack me while I'm here. Right here, actually. I'm okay. I go, 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 go. Thank you. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, that's... Okay, we're good to go. So I just break a barrel and I get a crap ton of bombs. And here is a time stone. Will all the crab guys go away? Or will... No, they're still... Oh. They're bombs now. Apparently. chest. I don't, my wallet is full. I'm staying away from those things. I don't need rupees, I need more seeds. Can I... Can I have more seeds? What's up? Uh, well, you can give your reports next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. That's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. It's entirely up to you. And I shall see you all in the next episode. But goodbye.